Hey subbies and friends, this is Lady T. I'm just checking in because I'm about to take my hair out of this little Bantu knot style blend and I'm just gonna fluff it out and head out for the day. Nothing special, just recording as I do my hair. Hope you don't mind. And again, I was supposed to wash my hair and this was gonna be used to stretch my hair but I end up just going to sleep. Y'all know how it is. This is water with apple cider vinegar in it. I keep it really simple, my water bottle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place a little bit of raw shea, African shea butter on my hair or my fingers as I go. It's pretty cold outside. You know guys, I was thinking about something the other day and I know I said in one of my videos that I probably was going to be trying some different products and all that and I started to thinking the other day how I would probably never become a product junkie. Um, I see myself evolving more towards to someone who actually uses more of the, of the basics of the products like for instance I'm using shea butter right now. I see myself being one who uses more like shea butter type products opposed to buying a bunch of um, hair products. Like for example, I see myself shopping online to buy or going to places to get the pure shea butter, the olive oil, the basics of hair products, ingredients, than buying actual products. Like the other day I went and purchased the LK Naturals which is cool. I love the smell and everything. But that bottle was about $12.99 for that for, um, product. And I got to thinking, do you know I could have bought, the Shea Butter was only $5.99. Olive oil is usually less than $3. Um, you know, my grapeseed oil is less, well olive oil is usually less than $4. My grapeseed oil is usually less than $4. And I could have got all those products for the price of one product that basically is just made from shea butter and probably some other oils and um it's not going to last as long because you know it's only a what maybe 16 ounce bottle that's going to um be gone in like a month or two whereas these shea butter and olive oil will probably last me about three months so honestly although i said i will be trying more products I don't know if that's necessarily true. I don't think I will. I just think my mind won't let me because I, you know, when you really understand how hair products work and that most products are basically just, you know, oil and water and protein, that's it. All that other stuff is just fluff, you know? If it's, it's either moisturizing your hair or protecting it, okay? It's not doing any magic tricks. It's not helping it grow. Hair products on the top of your hair do not help it grow. That's a myth. Um, it all starts from the inside. So why spend a whole bunch of money on a hair product if you know it can only really just moisturize and protect? And that's all temporary. You know, that's something you have to apply every day. And you know, if you're spending about $12 a product, that can add up. I just realized I'm kind of running low on grapeseed oil, so I need to hit, I like to get my uh, grapeseed oil from Trader Joe's um, because it's very affordable and I just like Trader Joe's products. I get my olive oil, um, grapeseed oil, and my coconut oil from Trader Joe's. And I'm running low on my grapeseed oil and I really love grapeseed, Trader Joe's grapeseed oil for detangling my natural hair because it just makes my hair strands just fluff and separate very nicely. My hair feels pretty soft I must say although it needs to be washed. It's amazing what water can do to your hair, the acidic water. 
but I do need to probably come home later today and wash my hair because if you don't it'll start to break off and do what it kind of wants to do it just will you know it's been about two, at least two weeks since I washed my hair believe it or not you know because I just get so busy on the weekends gonna rub a little bit more shea butter on my hair and then I'm just gonna fluff it out a little bit I kind of don't mind leaving it a little tight looking but I'm gonna fluff it a little bit more around the middle with my hands and then I may pull out a pick just to kind of get in the areas I can't really get to so that I can get out of here this is really easy I always just make sure I have a part down the side and a deep part then I'll just touch my hair with my hands as much as possible like this is also a great time to maybe grab some tea tree oil since I haven't cleaned my hair in a couple weeks it's been at least one or two weeks at least two weeks but and hair is not inchy surprisingly and I think it comes from using that apple cider vinegar water because the apple cider vinegar is killing the bacteria as well just run my fingers through to make sure any little clumps I've already gotten to you know, you know and then just leave the ends as curled up as possible okay I'm back I went and grabbed my little pick okay grab me a little pick and then I went and grabbed my little tea tree oil. I love the smell of tea tree oil. It's a little potent. This is a cheaper, I got this probably from Spring Valley. I don't know who carries the Spring Valley van, probably Walmart. Um, but I can't, so I just went on Walmart. Probably bought it from a local Walmart. And I just put it on my scalp. Even though it's not inching, it just makes me feel like my scalp is, any bacteria is being worked on. But I'm gonna do what we do. So once you have that, then what I would do is just take the pig just to move it deep in there and do a little bit of that. But you don't want to pull on it, but I'm trying to get as much of the hair that's at the root as possible. You know, it all depends on your style. I'm not that keen, big on styling the short look. Some girls can really make the curls like pop, lock, and drop. My concern mainly is just to get it to where it looks unison. Alright, I'm always funny about how my back looks. Sometimes these shorter looks, you'll have like parts in the back of your head. So I'm gonna look at how it looks. But this is pretty much the finished product. So 
some women like the bang to come more toward the front. I'm really not concerned about that at this point. And some people really dress it up by using their fingers to correct any curls. I don't really be wanting to be bothered with all that. I usually like to add a little moisture to it because then the um, moisture will help the hair f swell up and look more unison as well. That's another secret to fluffing and it's very soft. Still got a little frizz to it but I don't mind it um, because I didn't really expect to be wearing my hair out in these Bantu knots. I thought I was going to just wash my hair, but that's why I love Bantu knots because you can go from transition to another style, you can wash it so it'll be stressed. And my hair, I always wear Bantu knots. Bantu is one. Of, Bantu knots are some of my favorite transitional style. Like if I don't know what to do with my hair, I like to throw it in Bantu knots because I know no matter what, I'll be fine <laughs> the next morning. And I like it because it stretches my hair and it gets my hair out of my way. And because it's curled on the ends, it doesn't my awkward shape doesn't stand out as much. Okay, well guys, how do you like it? Hey guys, I hope you liked the look. Thank you for watching. You have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye-bye.